Hey, what's up, guys? So I got another little cool little video to share with you guys today. Uh, I want to share, uh, show off these action figures that I just got in the mail yesterday. Um, they are uh, Funko action figures. Um, the line is uh, Savage World. And these things are just so cool, guys. The best way I can describe them are like WWE wrestling figures. Um, if you ever had those as a kid. All these horror characters have, you know, are muscle bound. They're just, you know, ripping out their shirts. And, you know, Myers over here has his, you know, cut off shirt on. Um, they got like their wristbands on. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, it's almost like you want to get like one of those WWE wrestling rings for toys and just make these guys go head to head with each other and tag team matches and all that type of shit. But um, I saw on Facebook and different other um, social media sites, collector pages, that these were released. And, um, you know, I thought, damn, I, I, I really want those. Those are really cool. So uh, I went searching around uh, where I could get them. And the cheapest place, guys, that I could find them was Amazon. And they're, get this, from uh, between $12 and $15 each, which is really good. I mean, uh, eBay and th uh, different places like that sell them for about $20 a piece right now. And these are brand new, um, 2018, so they just fairly uh, new release. So what's going to happen is as they start getting bought out and the line starts you know, decreasing, uh it's they're going to go up even more at some point they're probably going to be like a hundred dollars a piece so uh, but let's get to it let me kind of go through the uh the five of them here and kind of show you one by one uh, i'm sorry about the glare guys i'm trying to give you the best possible view but i you know i got the glare from the window and everything so but uh here we have uh hellraiser 3 hell on earth pinhead you know, five and a half, uh, they're, they're, the size is five and a half. They're real wide body, guys. See how wide they are? I mean, this is just a, such a cool concept here. Um, Pinhead doesn't really look like Pinhead in the face to me. I mean, obviously he is what he is. You know, you know who he is, but the face kind of looks a little off to me. But I'm just nitpicking at this point. There's his puzzle box down there. And he's got his uh, hook and, you know, knife weapons over here on the corner. Okay, on the back side here, um, you got, you know, collect all five. There's only five of them in, the, in this line, this particular line. I have all five. Okay. Um, pretty cool. Uh, next, we have uh, Michael Myers. And, um, uh, I wanted to tell you, so Amazon packed all these in a cardboard box and whether it got damaged upon shipping or just in the factory, but this is how it showed up, guys. This is how it showed up. It was bent inside the box. It's almost like they shoved them in there. Uh, if I was collecting these for, um, you know, to keep them in packages, this would have really pissed me off. I mean, I'm a little pissed off as it is now because of it, but uh, I did plan on taking them out of the packages because I like to display the figures on a shelf, you know, all like that, <laughs> jacked up looking. So, but if I was a collector that liked to collect, uh, you know, items and keep them in their original packages, this would this would be no good. This would have to go back to Amazon, you know, and get a new one sent, but... Luckily for Amazon, I'm not looking to do that, so I'm going to pretty much rip it open after this video. Um, but yeah, so Myers, you got his weapons, he's got his uh, knives, he's got two of them, one for each hand, which is pretty cool. And then uh, you have, uh, like I said, his cut-off shirt, muscle-bound showing. Um, what's really cool is uh, <laughs> on all of them, they got this little like wrestling like it reminds me of some of you might be too young to remember this but like he-man type of outfit you know with the cut shirt down at the bottom but this guy's boots on his commando boots on so 
pretty cool pretty cool I like that accurate face unlike pinhead it's a little awkward um, this might even be my uh, my favorite out of, out of the line is uh, Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th um, again muscle bound got the mask on uh, but you can actually see the uh, the rib cage in this one um, I like that effect um, he's got his uh, axe made out of a bone and a sword with the bone uh, kind of give you that like caveman type of feeling about it um, chain around this belt there um, just really cool concept guys I can't say it enough and for the price for twelve dollars each you can't beat it um, they're really going to go good in the collection Again, all the backs of the boxes of the uh, units are pretty much the same. Um, yeah, I, like I said, this is probably my favorite out of the bunch. Uh, next, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, <laughs> he looks pretty decent. He, they did all the uh, burnt up skin, torn pants. He's got a hood on, which is kind of weird to me, but it, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. Um, he's got his glove down here. I'm not sure. I'm guessing the glove actually will go on his hand. We'll find out when we open the box. As always, the box is pretty much the same on the back. But, uh, he, he's another favorite. And lastly, we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leather Face. And, um... To me, his face is a little odd, just like the pinhead version. You know, they're just off a little bit, but you know there's no mistaking who he is. I mean, you could tell just by the chainsaw and, you know, what's that, a mallet over there? They actually go over top. They click on his hand, I'm guessing, because he doesn't have a hand here, and it looks like it just snaps into place. Um, oh, and his leg is off in this box, too. It's another complaint about Amazon. Now, I know I'll be able to fix it. It's just a hip uh, little ball and joint, and you can click it back in. So I'm sure it's not broken. But still, it's another complaint that, you know, but for $12, what are you going? I'm not going to argue too much. Um, again, the back is the same. Uh, so he's wearing his apron there with the blood all over it, which is a decent touch. Uh, so that's about it for him but uh yeah guys so you know check them out you know they're really cool um definitely uh love the the funko line on these um like i said i will be opening up out of the package and uh displaying them so maybe i'll open them up right now um you know i'll kind of splice the video i'll open them up and set them out here so you can see what they look like out of the package and then uh but yeah if you're a horror collector, um, I definitely recommend uh, picking these up now while they're cheap. Uh, you'll love them. Yeah, I mean, I'm already I'm psyched. When the box came yesterday from Amazon, it took me uh, you know about 2.5 seconds to rip open the box and check them out. I mean, I was really uh, blown away. Okay, guys. Again, these are uh, Savage World Horror Icon action figures. Check them out. Peace. Okay guys, so there you have it. There they are, all out of their original packaging. Um yeah, uh Leatherface's leg did just snap into place and his uh saw there, his chainsaw just clicks onto his onto his wrist just like, you know, Ash from Evil Dead would do. Um he doesn't have a hand there. Um oh, and here is his little mallet. Um, you could use either the chainsaw or the mallet for for his hand there, but uh, yeah, they're they're pretty cool guys. They uh, even look better outside of the package. They, um, you know, I was checking out Jason on the back of Jason. You can see the bones and this and the um, you know backbone and everything through the back. Um, you know, they just uh, the other thing that I'm kind of 
you know never really liked with and it's with all action figures is this right here um the weapons usually never fit right in the hands so you gotta kind of move them around to to stick like that um so that way when you display them on a shelf or something they look they look all right um i mean i was having the same problem with myers's knives there they were kind of flipping around inside his hand but uh yeah let me just kind of go down the line there you go you got pinhead kruger myers Leatherface and Voorhees. Not bad. Okay. All right, guys. Just wanted to kind of tie that into this video, show you what they look like outside the package. All right. Have a good weekend. See you next time.